Friday. Got myself an early Christmas present. Yup. Legacy Blade Blaster. Oh, wait. I guess I should probably turn it on first. There's a little switch down here at the bottom. So now I should probably go and re-record that intro and then show it off and then try to shoot you. Okay, I think I shot like the one person actually watching this video right now. Uh, sorry about that. But um, that's Legacy Blade Blaster. That's the blaster mode. You pull this down. There's a little button on the side here. You press down right, right here. You press down. And then you lock her up. And there you go. You are in holster mode now. Uh, so, unfortunately, when you press the button here, it does the sword swishing sounds. So you don't get to, you, you can't get to do the little pyramid, pyramid blaster mode the way that, you know, you get five of your friends to do the little pyramid blaster mode. You don't get to do that. Um, you have to do, you'll have to put your own sound effects in and post. Um, sorry, it's just blame Bandai. Um, I wonder, supposedly if you hold the button down, you're supposed to get the Power Rangers thing. Yep, there it is. And I, I can't let it go too long because uh, copyright. So, um, yeah, that's Legacy Blast. That's uh, holster mode. That's uh, pyramid shot mode. And then you have this little flick, uh, flicker here. You flick that. And you get blade mode. And then your button here, it does all these swishing sword moves. And... Um, one, one of the things you'll notice, there is a little bit of, little bit of leeway here. So when you are holding uh, your Legacy Blade Blaster in blade mode, you're going to want to make sure you have the actual handle, not this part, because it's going to be a little flimsy. It's not going to feel right. You don't want to shake it around too much because it still won't feel totally secure here. Uh, I'm not sure it's actually supposed to, but ding, I swing it around. See, I'm swinging around a little bit, and it... It, it feels like it's shaking and clicking in. I, I don't know. You just want to be really careful, especially if you want to take some really nice care of this and you're stupid like me and you open the damn box because you want to play with it a little bit. You got to play with it at least a little bit. Because, come on. It's a fucking Legacy Play Blaster! It's like every fucking Power Rangers fan, Every fucking Power Rangers fan wanted the sidearm. This was the basic sidearm. Now we really want to see the legacy weapons. We want to see, you know, the, the, the Power Sword and the Mammoth Axe and the Triceroance and the Terrabo and, 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 and the Saber Daggers. And okay, that's not actually their names. They always said Power Sword, Power Axe. Jesus Christ, not everything has to be power. You can actually have a real name. Triceralance. Tyrannosaurus, you know. Try. Try. Movie reboot. For the love of God, don't just have Power X. Power Bow. Power Daggers. Power Lance. Power Sword. Power Blaster. Don't, don't do that. Give them real names. Come on, okay? I mean, it, it, it's... it's Bad enough that the Red Ranger looks like Sam Smith. Nothing against Sam Smith, but dude, you just are not the Red Ranger. And I'm hoping Dakray Montgomery um, only looks that pretty in pictures. I hope that they actually kind of like beef him up a little bit, get him, get him working out, beef him up a little bit, lose the Sam Smith haircut. You know, you know, look like Jason, man, fucking Jason. Come on! I mean, we already got Ludie Lynn. He's all ripped and shit. Underwear model motherfucker. I mean, come on. He's all bulked and ready. He's ready to go and kick some motherfucking ass. Him and, and, and Becky G and... And, and uh, oh, fuck. You know, they're all... The, the rest of the Rangers are ready, you know. The R.J. Siler, who's, you know, this skinny little punk. Well, he's supposed to be a skinny little punk. He's fucking Billy. Okay? Dakray, come on! Beef up! 
You're Jason, for Christ's sake! <laughs> but, uh, Legacy Blade Blaster. Fucking awesome. Really glad I have this. Um, and, uh, well, still haven't heard back from Bandai about the Dragon Dagger. I, I was assured that it was supposed to be able to summon Dragon. I tried calling the Khaleesi. She's still not here. No Khaleesi! No, the Nanus Targaryen! What the fuck, Bandai? I'm supposed to be able to summon dragons with that shit, right? Come on, work with me here. In the meantime, whatever you do, don't go thinking this is a real weapon. Don't go holding up your local Circle K with it or nothing, okay? Come on, kids, let's be smart. Power Ranger, we're the good guys. It's still pretty cool, though, isn't it? And I just, I, I, I just, I love this. I love this. I, I just, I, I love this. And I love that there's that, like, sound effect. I wish there was the sound effect with this, but I guess the actual real-life click is supposed to be satisfying enough. I don't know. Um, not much to complain about. It's not very heavy, um, you know. In the, in the gun mode, it actually feels a little too light. Uh, in the blade mode, remember when you're changing the blade mode, this goes down first. Otherwise, it's not going to click. Pro it's not going to connect properly. So, and I mean, in this mode, it feels about the right weight um, for what it should be. You got your little blade. It, it, this this blade is just awesome. All kinds of die cast. The blade itself is not die. Well, no, the, no, the blade itself is not die cast. Um, no, the red was always there on the original blade in the first place. That was on the blade for all five of them, and there were only five because because Dragon Ranger did not have Dragon Ranger did not have the blade. And neither did the Green Ranger. So you know, all you cosplayers that have. You know, Tom, you running around with one of these things. He didn't have one of these things. He didn't have it. He only had the dragon dagger and the kick-ass shield and sometimes the badass sword, which got destroyed with tears or or this thing. Oh, wait, I put it. You gotta put it. You gotta put it in uh, gun mode. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and destroy the sword of darkness there. Yeah. Now Tommy's a good guy. And next season, he'll be the White Ranger, and he'll have an even better sword. And still not one of these. That's right. White Ranger don't have one of these either. So cosplayers. Cosplayers who keep putting this with Sixth Rangers. It doesn't go with them. It only goes for the Core 5. Um, so I should edit this video, but I won't, because I'm lazy. Mike Johns has lost his goddamn motherfucking mind is on Tumblr. And that's Mike Johns has lost his mind dot Tumblr dot com. I review comic books. I review movies. I talk about TV shows. I basically just have fun with nerdy stuff. Um, some of you may remember me from other websites. I'm no longer associated with any of those. I'm on my own. And now I play with toys and review comic books. And I have fun. So if you like fun and you're sick and tired of me bitching about wrestling, <laughs> Mike Johns has lost his mind. .tumblr.com, my new blog, the basically the the sister site of this YouTube channel. Um, not really the sister, the parent site of this YouTube channel now. Um, Mike Johns has lost his mind. .tumblr.com, check it out. I just did a blog about Supergirl. I uh, have comic books I need to review. I, I got the, the new Miss Marvel that's going to be reviewed soon. Uh, Spider Gwen number two is going to be reviewed. Uh, Extraordinary X Men number two has yet to be reviewed. Um, the uh, new Mighty Thor number one also to be reviewed. As well as the uh, new, all new, all different Avengers number one to be reviewed. Uh, I also have uh, existing reviews for uh, for three issues of Amazing Spider-Man and the first issues of Guardians of the Galaxy 
first issue of uh, Extraordinary X-Men and the first issue of Spider-Gwen. Those blogs are already up, so uh, there's plenty of content. There's uh, a review of the new movie Creed, uh, the, seventh, the seventh movie in the Rocky series. Uh, there is a review of Terminator Genesis that's available. So really, um, once again, the blog, the blog is Mike Johns has lost his mind .tumblr.com, and it's all there. So uh, check out the blog. Thanks for checking out the videos. Um, hopefully, if you can afford it, Legacy Blade Blaster, definitely worth having for you Power Rangers fans. Uh, just in time for the movie. The theaters probably won't let you bring it. They're cracking down on them lightsabers, so they're not going to let us bring our Legacy Blade Blasters. They're not going to let us bring the Dragon Daggers and the Sabas. Can't wear the masks, but that movie's coming in 2017. We've got casting. We've got a script supposedly written by the people that brought us X-Men First Class, and that movie fucking rocked. So don't hate. Don't hate, okay? All you people who are worried, yeah, okay. There might be reason. There might not. But so far, solid script writers. Cast, you really can't say much about the cast because you don't know. There really isn't a lot on them. But right now, it looks like Saban is dead serious about doing the reboot and giving the older Power Rangers fans uh, something that they've been wanting since 1993. Um, that first morning when you watched Power Rangers, you were maybe not six years old, maybe you were like me and you were 13, and you saw this Japanese Super Sentai show for the first time, spandex, rubber monsters, giant robots, fuck yeah! For us, it looks like Saban is on that path, they're ready to give that fan base kind of an ultimate version of the Power Rangers. And... Hopefully that's what happens. And we don't get that really, really dark, gritty shit like we got with Power Slash Rangers from What's-His-Fucking-Face with the emo fucking eyes like a year or so ago. I mean, it wasn't bad, it, it wasn't bad, but it's not what Power Rangers should be. Power Rangers was fun and sort of escapism. And it wasn't supposed to be this dark, gritty story. So, you know, let, let's, let's remember that Hero stories should also sometimes be fun. They don't all have to be Daredevil. They don't have, all have to be Jessica Jones. Um, maybe something that Zack Snyder might want to learn about Superman, perhaps, you know, before he goes and tries to pitch another Superman movie to follow up on the Dawn of Justice movie that we're going to get. Uh, maybe somebody who will be producing the Justice League movie might want to remember that DC heroes are colorful and fun and not necessarily all Batman. Please. You don't have to... You, I know you want to play catch up with Marvel, but for God's sake, learn something from Josh Trank. Learn something from what that fucking idiot did to the fucking Fantastic Four. For Christ's sake, don't go down that route. It's bad enough you did it with Man of Steel. It's bad enough that you, you're you already so far in production with Batman vs. Superman that's probably going to just be more of this false god bullshit and Superman is Jesus. Good, don't... God, no, 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 no. Superman isn't fucking Jesus, people. It's not that serious. Have fun with these things. Please have fun with, fun with these things. Please. Mike Johns has already lost his mind over fucking TNA Wrestling and WWE. He doesn't need to lose his goddamn mind over a fucking Superman movie. Another stupid fucking Superman movie. I've already lost my mind over two stupid fucking Superman movies. Uh, fortunately, not for this website. Um, that was for a uh, previous gig. Um, maybe you may have heard of it, but I'm not going to plug it here because whatever. I uh, know I'm not. I need to shut up. Bye.